Good morning and welcome to Bible class. It's so good to see all of you guys today. I have Gabby and Max who are wanting to play a little game with you guys. This game is called Old and New. So I'm going to give two pictures for you guys to look at and you have to figure out which one is the new one all right so you're gonna tell me if the new one is on the left then that means you're gonna shout out left it's on the left if the new one is on the right you're gonna shout out right it's on the right all right, so I want you guys to know your right and your left before we start this game. So let's see if you guys know. Which side of me is Gabby on? Is Gabby on the right or is she on the left? Oh, I'm on the right side. Yeah, I'm on the right. Then which side is Max on? Uh, I hope you guys said I'm on the left side because, yeah, that's the side I'm on. So, we're going to play our old and new game. Here it goes. Okay, which one of these books is the new book? Can you tell the difference between the old and the new? Oh, I hope you said the book that's on the left side. That's the new book. Okay, I've got another one for you. Look at these socks. Which sock is new? Oh, did you see the one on the left? That's correct. Good job. All right, look at these bicycles. Which bicycle here is the new bicycle? Oh, is it the one on the right? Yeah, it's nice and shiny and hasn't been mussed up at all. Good for you. So, the reason why we had to play that old and new game is because Jesus does something new today in our story. During our Bible story today, I am going to say Passover meal a lot. All right, so every time I want you guys to be listening to the Bible story for those two words, Passover meal. And every time I say Passover meal, I want you to pretend that your hand is a plate and that your other hand is helping you eat your Passover meal. All right, so can you guys do that with me? Get your hand out, pretend it's a plate, and pretend you're eating. Good job, good job. So every time I say Passover meal, what are you guys gonna do? You're gonna get your plate and you're gonna eat. You're gonna eat your meal. You can even make a sound as you eat. All right, so you're going to be listening for those two words during our Bible story. Our Bible story today comes from Matthew 26, Mark 14, Luke 22, and it's in John 13. Must be really important. It's in four different places in the Bible. This is a very, very important story, so I'm excited to share it with you today. Jesus and his disciples were in Jerusalem. They had come to Jerusalem for a very important Passover meal. All right, you guys have to remember to do that every time I say it. So they had come for this important Passover meal because long ago God had saved his people and he had saved them in a very exciting, wonderful way, doing many, many miracles. And after he had done this, he told his people, every year I want you to have a special Passover meal. Oh. I want you to have that to help you remember all the wonderful things that I had done for you and how I saved you from being slaves in Egypt. But this Passover meal that Jesus was just about to have with his disciples 
was the most important one because God was about to rescue his people again. Rescue means to save. God was just about to save his people again, but in a different way. He was going to use Jesus to save his people. So Jesus told Peter and John, he sent them into town and he told them, Hey, I want you to go into town and I want you to look for a man that has a water jug. And when you see this man that has the water jug, I want you to follow him. Can you help them walk with your hands and help them walk into town? And what are they looking for? Hmm, can everybody pretend you're looking for who? The man with the water jug. And what are they supposed to do when they see him? They're supposed to follow him. So help them follow the man because of course they found the man with the water jug, just like Jesus said, and they followed him. Now Jesus said, when you follow him, he's going to take you to a house and the owner of that house will show you a room that is upstairs. And so, of course, they followed the man and he took them to a house and the owner showed them an upstairs room. When the meal was ready, Jesus and his friends sat around the table ready to eat and Jesus knew that his time was coming when he wasn't going to stay there on earth with his friends anymore and he was going to get to go back to his father in heaven and he knew this time was coming but his friends they didn't know they didn't know about this so Jesus was just about to tell them about this God had a plan can you say that with me God had a plan now, just like they had always done with this Passover meal, Jesus took the bread, the special bread that was supposed to help them remember how God had saved them. He took a piece of bread and he broke the bread. He broke it up and then he said something different. This time he took this broken bread and he gave it to his disciples and he said, this is like my body that is broken for you. And he had them have the bread. Wow, that was really cool. And But they were like, what? Jesus, what are you talking about? We know what the bread is about. The bread is about how everyone had to leave so quick. Their bread didn't even have time to rise. But Jesus took the old way of doing it and having the bread, and he made it into a new way of taking the bread, and that it was now going to represent him. Then Jesus took the cup. He took the cup and they were used to always taking the cup and remembering the blood God had saved them from Egypt. But this time during the Passover meal, oh, and I hope you guys are remembering to do your plate. Jesus took the cup and he thanked God for it. And then he said, drink this. This is like my blood a new promise of things to come. So Jesus took the old Passover meal. So he took it and changed it into being about him. Let's get Diz to come and talk to us for a second. Diz, what do you think about old and new things and how Jesus kind of changed everything and made it new? Oh, I love that. I think it's so amazing that Jesus can take something old, something they had been doing all their lives, and just totally change it and help them remember him just through a Passover meal. Did you guys remember to do your plate and eat? Oh, I hope you did. So this Passover meal... Oh. I made you do it again, didn't I? <laughs> it was a special, special meal that Jesus had 
with his friends right before he went back to heaven to be with God. That's right, Diz. That is very exciting. And I love that he got to share this special Passover meal with his friends. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.